tread wisely when you are on assignment. Esther chapter 2 verse 10 and verse 15. Esther had not revealed her people or family, for Mordecai had charged her not to reveal it. Verse 15. Now when the turn came for Esther, the daughter of Abihail, the uncle of Mordecai, who had taken her as his daughter, to go into the king, she requested nothing but what Hegai, the king's eunuch, the custodian of the women, advised. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all who saw her. As we continue to look at Esther and how she journeyed with God and how God worked in her life, we see a very wonderful trait, a wonderful characteristic, uh, an outstanding characteristic in Esther's life. So as we continue in the story, we find that Esther is now in the king's palace, one of the 400 young ladies who are being prepared to be brought before the king. And she has already found much favor in the eyes of Haggai, who is the custodian of the women. And uh, yet, while she's in this very favored position and she, she's beginning to recognize what's going on, we see that she still carries herself with wisdom. There are two outstanding things that we see here uh, 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 as in the verses that we read. First of all, she continues to listen to the counsel of Mordecai. Mordecai is her cousin who actually brought her up in his care. And Mordecai constantly counsels her and guides her. And one of the things Mordecai told Esther was, Esther, don't reveal who you are, from which people you are, that you are actually a Jewish lady. Don't reveal that. And Esther was careful to follow the advice of Mordecai. And the other thing we see there in verse 15 is that when Esther was about to, uh, when, when it was Esther's turn to come before the king, you know, each one of those young ladies, as we read in that story, had the opportunity to ask for whatever spices, whatever garments, whatever clothing, whatever they needed to present themselves the best they could before the king. So in other words, they had, you know, uh, uh, a credit card without any limit that they could go shopping and pick up whatever they want so that when they came before the king, they would be the best that they could be. But you know what Esther did? Verse 15 says, she just listened to Haggai, the custodian, and she did exactly what he told her. And she wore the clothes, she wore the spices, she wore the perfumes that Haggai recommended. Esther didn't go with what she liked. She went with the recommendation of Haggai. You know, that's really wisdom there. You know why? Because Haggai knew exactly what pleased the king. Esther had no access to the king. She would have had no way to find out what King Ahasuerus really liked. But Haggai, the custodian, she got his counsel. She asked him, tell me. What would be the best thing to wear? What would be the best perfumes to wear? What is the king like? And it tells us that she requested nothing but what Haggai advised. And she followed his advice. So this is wisdom. Esther walked with wisdom. She recognized the favor of God. She recognized what was happening. And she also understood that she needed the counsel of people around her to enable her to fulfill her assignment. An important lesson for us. When you are on assignment, walk wisely. Listen to the counsel of godly people. You cannot in any way risk the assignment. You need all the wisdom you need, you can get to fulfill it. Remember Esther. She took the advice of people who could help her. Let's do the same. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will give us the grace, the humility to receive the wisdom and the counsel that will be spoken into our lives as we journey into fulfilling your assignment for our lives. Help us to tread wisely, knowing that we are on heaven's assignment here on earth. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.